today we are going to learn how to draw the dancing lady that is featured in many of Bernard Hoyes' paintings. Um, so we're going to start with a pencil and an eraser. I want you to practice drawing very lightly for this because we are going to have to erase some of the lines that we draw. So first of all, I'm going to draw the head of the dancing lady. When we draw a head realistically in art, it is an oval shape. So towards the top of my paper, about one or two inches down. So if I go one, two, I am going to draw an oval shape for her head. I'm having the oval shape tilt slightly to the side so that it looks like she is turning her head. Next, I am going to draw a hair wrap on top of the lady's head. To show the knot of the wrap, I am going to draw a circle, a small circle at the top of my oval. Remember, practice drawing very lightly so that you can erase lines later if you need to. Next, I'm going to draw the sides of the turban. The sides of the turban are two lines that are curved from the circle that meet back at her head. So now I'm going to go back and do those lines a little bit darker so that you can see exactly what it looks like. So I can erase any lines I don't need and fix that. Okay, so that is the start of the shape of her head. Next, we're gonna draw a neck, a neck, is two straight lines. You do not want her neck to be too short or too long. So do what looks right. I am then going to draw a curved line that meets at the bottom of her neck, curves and then goes to the other side of her neck. And that's gonna show the neck line of her dress. Okay, so next steps are to draw the body. In Bernard Hoyes' paintings, he likes to have the bodies of the people who are dancing in his paintings have kind of long lines that look like ribbons. So I'm going to start with drawing the arms. Her arms go straight out. So there is one arm going out and her other arm going out. Draw the sleeve of her dress so the arm starts with that rectangle shape, but don't go all the way back to the neck. You wanna stop a little bit before the neck. Okay, so those are her arms. Now we're going to draw her hands that are sticking out as she dances. So there are wrists, two horizontal lines on each side for her wrists. And then her hands can be shaped like that, kind of like a mitten. We don't need to add too many details, so those are her hands. Next up, we're going to draw that swaying ribbon-like body that really shows the movement. If we were just drawing a lady standing still, we would draw just like a straight line, like that, like a rectangle. But remember, she is dancing, so we want to show movement in our painting. So instead of straight lines going down, I am going to do a line that shows that movement. And I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom of my paper, showing that moving wavy line. Then I'm going to do the other side And this line on the other side is kind of going to match the line I did on this side. Not perfectly, but it matches a little bit. Okay, so then this shows the movement of her dress as she dances. Okay, so next up we're gonna draw her face. Um, for her face, we're gonna do it pretty simply. Um, a lot of times in Bernard Hoyes' art, um, he doesn't show too much detail. So for her face, we are going to keep it simple. 
I'm going to draw two eyes. Her eyes are closed as she is dancing. So I just do two curved lines to show her closed eyes. I could also add eyebrows. A nose. And then a mouth. To do a mouth, I will draw a slightly curved line. And then lips. Like that. Okay, our next steps will be to add paint. I'm going to get my paint palette and we'll be right back. Okay, so now we're gonna start painting. I have my paint palette. It has all of my paints on it. I got a little bit of every color. I also grabbed a smaller plate in case I want to do some mixing of colors. I wanna mix on the smaller plate and not my big plate because these colors on the big plate, you wanna keep them nice and clean. Do not mix them up. The other things that I need are a cup of water, some paper towels, and I got three paintbrushes. A big paintbrush for the big areas like the background, a medium brush for the mid-sized areas, so not the tiny details. Um, so maybe this brush would do good for her dress, maybe her hair wrap. I also got a little brush for the small details. Small details would be things like her hands, her face, those small areas. Okay, so let's start painting. Um, I am going to start my painting out with the woman's dress. And in his paintings, Bernard Hoyes like to paint with very, very bright, vibrant colors. I am choosing to do my dancing lady's dress a mix of red and a little bit of pink. So to start that out, I'm gonna use my medium sized brush, get some paint on my brush, and I am going to carefully start filling in that space. As I'm going, if I run out of paint, I dip my brush back in and refill the paint. Notice how I'm going along the outside edges. I like to block off the edges of where I'm going to paint before I start painting in the middle. This helps make sure that I stay in the lines. If you mess up and go out of the lines, that's okay. You just wanna make sure that your paint has nice and smooth edges like mine does here. Okay, my next step is to create a color for her skin tone. Um, so when I do her skin, I think that this brown that I have is maybe a little too dark. So I'm gonna show you how to mix different skin colors. So remember that whenever you are cleaning your brush off, you're dipping it in the water, kind of scrubbing it around to clean it off. And then before you go back to your painting, I want you to take a paper towel and dry that brush off. Because if your brush is too wet and you go to start doing your painting, it's going to kind of get too watery. It might blend all your colors together. It might make your paper too soggy. So whenever you clean your brush in your water, I want you to come back and dry it off on your paper towel before you get started again. Okay, so now to make a skin tone. I'm gonna use my smaller paint palette. I'm gonna get a little bit of brown on my paintbrush. 
so I'm doing brown. And then I'm gonna add some white. I'm gonna start with a tiny bit of white and blend it in and see what color it is. If I want it to be lighter, I can add more white. If I think that that is too light, I can add more brown to make it darker. Okay, so I'm happy with that color and I'm gonna start painting the woman's face, neck, and hands. Now when I paint over her face, it's going to cover up the eyebrows and mouth and nose that I drew. That's okay, we can add them back later. Okay, now that my dancing lady portrait is all dry, I'm gonna go back with the Sharpie and add the face. I even think it looks really good without the face. You can still tell it's a woman dancing, but if you want to add the face back with your Sharpie, here's how we'll do it. Um, remember that we are we're drawing the lady with her eyes closed. So to draw closed eyes, I draw two slightly curved lines to show her eyelids. I'll draw eyebrows. Make sure that your eyebrows are a little bit thicker than your eyes so that you can tell which are eyelids and which are eyebrows. Then we'll draw a nose. And then for her mouth, I'm going to draw a curved smiling line, a rainbow line on top for her upper lip, and a rainbow line on the bottom for her lower lip. I'll do the same thing for my daytime dancing lady. And there we go.